there, guys. Um, Skillet here, coming to you from Export Foundations. Um, I know a game that in the previous video said we will be building a fleet, taking on some Xenon. Um, but as you see here, this looks like a discoverer. Um, and if we take a look, this happens to be, oh my gosh, Black Hole Sun and Undiscovered. Yes, I lost that other that other game. Um, but now we get to do this together. And I've just started. Look, the little tutorial thing. Elite Vanguard. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Elite Vanguard. I called it the Discoverer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically do this together. Uh, we are... We're going to strike out on our own. We are going to find out what this universe has to offer us. Um, and we're going to build up our, our little empire. Our little space that we can call home. Um, it's going to be fun. There's a lot that I've learned uh, since that last video that I now get to implement right from the beginning. Um, I'm actually really excited to do that. There's a, a lot of things that I have learned um, about trading and stuff like that. And minerals. Just a bunch of different things. If you've never played the game before, um, the game has a steep learning curve. Uh, we literally just started um, the start of the young gun scenario and it's only little little blips that you get we're going to come over to this asteroid field to actually uh, do some crystal mining to get some extra money because in the start you start off with 10,000 credits besides the ship that you have and 10,000 credits is not it's not really enough to do anything so what we're going to do is going to be the easiest thing to start out with. We're going to start crystal mining. I'm not going to show you everything of the crystal mining. But I do want to get you guys' ideas. Um, Skillet, uh, why don't we, or why don't you try this? This is going to be something we do do together. I wanted to throw this video at you. Um, basically, just to tell you that I haven't forgotten about it. I am severely bummed. Um about losing losing that other uh, save file, game file. And it's, uh, it's going to take a minute to get back to that that point um, where I had all that, that money uh, to get the behemoth. Uh, I believe I showed you that. Um, or a rattlesnake. There's a crystal. Two crystals. So it's going to take us a minute. And how we're going to do that in the beginning is mining. To start the whole mining fleet, we're going to mine these crystals. We're going to get enough to get um, one mineral miner. There are three minerals that you can mine in this game. Um, let's see if we can actually see. Oh, that looks purple. Asteroid. That is Nividium. I am so happy that is here. That is literally what I want to start mining first. That's actually the highest um, valued mineral in the game. Uh, right below that, we have this blue, which Asteroid. is silicon, um, which is the second highest. And then the orange yellow, Asteroid. which is ore. Um, and then on the map, you can see uh, the different. Well, you see the asteroids here in yellow. Empty asteroids are going to be gray. And you see these colors. Red is for just a mineral region. Blue is for gas. Purple is a mixture of both. And that is something in Stable Crystals. Unstable Crystals, if you did not, or you have not played the game or just have a question, what is an unstable crystal? Uh, that's a crystal that you can actually use in crafting. You can craft certain things with it. Uh, offhand, I know you can do a spaceship, no, spaceship, a uh, spacesuit bomb and an EMP uh, bomb that you can shoot out of your spacesuit. And then 
there's actually a few different things that you can you can craft. Um, the worst the worst one I've tried to craft. I've had the uh, most difficult time. I guess I can say the most difficult time crafting. Oh, would be the the SATA drive, which if you've played X. Three Albion Prelude, Terran Conflict, or any of the other X games, I believe, besides Rebirth. Um, I'm looking for the crystal, by the way. I'm not just staring at an asteroid talking. The SATA Drive was the way to get around. Um, basically, your own little time warp. You, It basically kind of sped up time and space around your ship. In this game, you have uh, three different modes, which you can see or know by the lights in your cockpit. Right now, the purple is a short-range scanning mode, which can show you minerals and asteroids. It can uh, scan sections of stations. And then there's the another mode, travel mode, which is basically how Kind of get around now. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get a little closer and I'm going to throw down a resource probe. So, as you can see um, on the map, I do ships are a little different colors, a little different shapes. I do have them that way so I know what is kind of what or who is who in, in the game or on the map at least, just so I can identify. Let's find out what's right here. Oh, that's a nav beacon. I'm a dumb dumb. Just kind of suck that back into the ship. There we go. Let's do a resource probe. Let's find out what's actually here. Helium, hydrogen, vidium, ore, and silk. Um, yeah, so we're going to start off mining. Again, crystals. If I tell you I remember the asteroid that that crystal was on, I no longer remember that asteroid that crystal was on. I'm not going to say I'm also lost in this asteroid field right now. But I could be a little lost in this asteroid field. There should be... I think it's this guy. But yeah, I do want to play this um, with you guys. It's a great game. It's one of my favorites. All the X games actually have been dear to my heart. I have a fascination with space. It's just cool, the unknown. And that's really what the X kind of stands for, which is um, what, mathematical or scientific for unknown. There's the crystal. Oh, purple guy right there. Uh, there are different types of crystals. Um, purple is probably the most common. Um, I found blue uh, almost as equally as common as purple, I think, sometimes. And they all have their own values, which we will look at um, after I get a, a, a bunch of crystals together. But I just want to make a short video. I have not forgot about this game. I do want to take you guys along. We're going to start this brand new, fresh, right out the right out the right out the gate but do leave a comment throw a like up um and let me know what you guys kind of don't you just oh you jerk face asteroid did you see that there was asteroid. a crystal right on it and then he you know, that miner blew it up i'm upset but i do want to take you guys want to bring you along on this epic adventure um be like, hey, skillet, why don't we do this? I do have one thing um, I have in mind. I think I might surprise you with it. I'm not totally on board with it yet. And it's becoming just basically a pirate. Scale plate green is 
one of the pirate factions. There's um, maybe a good 60-40 we'd go that route. Maybe. Maybe not. I honestly haven't talked myself into it just yet. Maybe a few of you can uh, talk me into it in the comments. But again, this video, a uh, short video, I have not forgotten about this. I have not forgotten about that sneak peek. Let's you know, build that fleet. And together we will build the fleet. And you guys can tell me, hey, um, what about this ship, this loadout, whatnot. Um, if you guys have any idea or any any knowledge about good AI fighters or um, NPC against AI fighters, you can always let me know. Um, the different types of combat, what's going to be good with me in the system or what's going to be good with me out of the system, let me know. Um, we're going to get there. We're going to build this together. We're going to conquer um, a little corner of this galaxy. Um, maybe Xenon Space. They don't deserve to live in those robots. But yeah. I do hope you guys enjoy. Um, and again, leave a, leave a comment what you kind of want to see or where you think we should go. And just let me know what you think. We're starting this fresh. We're starting this new. This is going to be T-Skillet signing off from X4 Foundations.